Hey everyone, this is Shami. Welcome to my channel and today we are discussing top healthy habits for a good lifestyle. If you are someone who wants to upgrade their lifestyle, this video is for you. Without further ado, let's dive in. Tip number one, eating healthy. Eating healthy is super important for a good lifestyle. Maintaining a nutritious and a balanced diet is crucial for our body to roll it better. So if you want to feel good about it, if you want to feel good about your body, if you want to feel good every day, eat a healthy and nutritious and balanced diet. Tip number two, regular exercise. When you feel down, upset or really sad, you can go and do an exercise. Believe it or not, when you do a regular exercise, you can feel a lot better in your daily life. And when you do exercise, when you move your body, your body can create serotonin and oxytocin to make it feel better. Tip number three, sleep hygiene. A lot of people talk about morning routine or morning hygiene, but a lot of people avoid evening hygiene. So sleep hygiene or evening hygiene is also super important for our body, for our mental well-being. When we go and like uh, finish our day, you have to have a closure. Everything needs a closure. So I'm a person, I generally switch off all my white lights in the evening and I switch my warm lights on. I have warm lights in my study room, I have warm lights in my bedroom, in my bathroom, in my bedroom, in my living room, pretty much everywhere you mentioned. So I switch on my oil diffuser, I have a little freshness in my room, I clean my bed and uh, I go take a shower, I stretch my body, I do a little bit of meditation and I read some books. Instead of I do my uh, phone. So I used to do a lot of phone in the at night when I'm in the bed. But what happens here, because of the blue light from the phone, I actually stay awake for a longer period of time, which I don't want. So I want to wake up fresh in the morning. And one more tip that I do, and that is I have to create a task for next day. So when I wake up in the morning, I have a fresh uh, understanding of what my day looks like and what I need to finish by this day. So when I wake up in the morning, I have a clear perspective about my what my day looks like. So yes, an evening routine or your sleep hygiene is super important. Make your own routine which suits your lifestyle. Tip number four, managing stress. Stress is an inevitable part of our life, but we need to understand and learn or manage stress better to function better. We made a video sometime back how to manage your stress better. We are gonna link that video in the description box below if you want to check it out. You can learn some coping mechanism to the stress such as meditation, yoga, mindfulness practicing and deep breathing and whatnot. So it's not super complicated, you, can, you don't have to do super complicated yoga or meditation, you can do 5 minutes or you can take deep breaths because whatever fear, whatever uh, issues we generate in our mind that actually creates on our diaphragm. And when you take deep breaths, you can actually minimize a lot of stress in your body instantly. Tip number five, cultivating positive relationships. Human beings are social creatures and cultivating a good relationship can impact our life significantly. And when you have good relationship with people, you can have good friends, you can have good relationship with your family, you can have good relationship with your pet. And this way you can feel a lot better. Uh, for me, in my, generally, I created a very good relationship with my mother. I take care of her, she takes care of me. We have good understanding, she doesn't bother me much, I don't bother her much, we don't step outside of our boundary, we have healthy boundaries, so you can cultivate a relationship with your family, with your friends. I generally don't hang out with a lot of people, but at some point of my life I have been a part social butterfly and I used to go to pretty much all the events that is happening around me and I am invited. And I used to be invited pretty much in all the events. And I thought this is good, but then I realized at some point I'm not cultivating any uh, strong, positive relationship with anybody. I'm just pretending to be a happy person and I'm just going to different social uh, events and like pretending to be a great, happy, joyful person. But I was not deep inside. So I stopped doing that and cultivated good friendship, found good friends and uh, good relationships that make me happy. I travel with them, I spend a lot of time with them. I do a lot of things with them, but with the selected people. So wherever I hang out with, they know I chose them because they are nice, they, they, they care for me, I care for them. So and it's not a short friendship, it's a long friendship. And uh, I meet a lot of people, but they are not my friends, they are my acquaintances. Tip number six, time management. Time is money, time is precious, and time and time does not wait for anybody. 
you can spend it you cannot sell it you cannot give it to somebody but you can use it so time management is super important everybody has 24 hours in their life a beggar has 24 hours and elon musk also has 24 hours mark zuckerberg also has 24 hours but they are investing their time positively they know how to manage their time better so you need to also learn how to manage your time better i'm still learning i'm not there I might not go there, but at least I am doing much better than I was doing yesterday. So learn how to manage your time better. Uh, I created a sleep uh, a routine that I want to do my list of the tasks that I want to do next day, today. Before I sleep, I want to do it on my phone or on my journal that I need to do it by tomorrow. And uh, so when I know, when I have a clear perspective, I actually do them tomorrow. But when I wake up tomorrow and I don't know what my day should look like, I don't finish a lot of tasks and by the end of that day, I feel like, oh my God, I did not finish all those tasks. So learn time management. Tip number seven, leisure activities. A lot of people talks about productivity, but nobody talks about leisure activity. Everybody needs some kind of leisure in their life. You may like reading, dancing, singing, traveling, cooking, whatever you like find out you find out about them and arrange that uh, thing for you to do them for instance i like reading but i don't like to read uh, on a on a kindle but i have a kindle when i travel i don't have to i cannot carry a lot of books with me but uh, when i am at home i have the opportunity to read my books so i have a couple of books that are next to my bedside and i read books every day i like dancing so i'm a salsa dancer and i have chosen that I want to dance and I made it, made it a part of my life. So I attend social dance socials. I attend a lot of dance festivals. I invest on those. I go for three days and dance like a crazy monkey. I'm just not me. I can connect a lot of people who find joy in dancing as well. So I can connect to a lot of people who have similar values, similar mindset. And we don't feel each other like we're aliens. And a lot of people think like, oh my God, you go to a festival and you dance for three whole days? Yes, absolutely. We wake up at uh, 8 in the morning. We start our classes at 10 in the morning. And during the whole day, we have multiple workshops. Then we have socials in the evening. And that goes until 5 in the morning. And a lot of people are doing it. Trust me, there are a lot of people who are doing the workshops and the socials. From 10 in the morning to 5 in the morning and we only sleep a couple of hours every day and after the festivals we sleep for two days so we can recover from the stress that we put into our body but our mind is fresh because we have attended dance festivals so this is my passion i'm passionate about dancing it's not my profession don't get me wrong i'm not putting a lot of time into this compared to a lot of people but i appreciate that they are doing it for their for their living and they are creating opportunities for us so we can go and dance as well. That's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching our video. See you soon.